Alright, today I'm going to show you how to ramp slow-mo in Sony Vegas Pro 10. First, you're going to want to open Vegas. And then, you're going to want to import the clip that you're going to ramp. And that's right here. You can go to File, Import, Media. And then you're going to find your trick, or not trick, but just clip of anything, really. I'll just find something out of here. Let's see. I'm gonna let's see. I'm gonna write this clip. All right. So what you're gonna want to do is zoom in. Get a nice big clip to work with. And first off, you're gonna want to find the area where you want to start your ramp. I'm gonna start it right about here I guess just to get a longer ramp like if you were to do like a say a kick flip down a set you would want to do it right when you started the pop so like I don't know like right there but this is a different trick so I'm just gonna start it like right here and press the S key to split it and then now what you're gonna do is go right two frames and then split again and I would just use the arrow key one two S one two Split to one two one two one two, and I'm gonna stop it like right there, right before I hit the ground. And you're gonna wanna get that out of the way, so everything's it's a lot easy to work with. And zoom in on the ones you just split. Okay, this is very important. This is what actually gives you the ramp effect. You're gonna wanna hold control to get that squiggly line under it. You wanna drag it two times out, so a little two under the up there get that out of the way and then instead of two you weren't gonna want to go up like two three so it's two three and we're gonna go to four one two three four drag it over here and then let's see four three two and then you're gonna want to drag this one to five and you get it out of the way and now that we're at five we're gonna want to start going down so it's like, and then I'll go four, and three, one second, let me get these out of the way, get these out of the way, and then we have four, so we're going to run drag this one to three, and it's like over here, one, two, three, and then this one to two. And then you're going to want to put it all together. Probably not with the beginning clip. Just put it all together. Let's make sure I'm not leaving anything out. Alright. And then you're going to want to put fade each file together, or each clip together, one little frame. Like this. Make sure it says one. I'm going to zoom out a bit. Make it easier. One, one, and one. And now, if you don't already have an audio track below this, you're gonna want to right-click, insert audio track, and you're gonna want to drag all the audio under the video down to that audio track. And an easy way is just click the first one, sh and then hold Shift and click the last one, and drag it down, just like that. And now you're gonna want to click this little exclamation point on that audio track and it'll solo it so you, the audio you're working with will only affect that audio track and then you're going to want to go to each one each individual one right click properties lock to stretch right click properties lock to stretch and sometimes when you're doing this it's going to be set the methods going to be set to none and you're not going to see anything so what you want to do is click it and go to elastic lock to stretch do it for each one And then after all that, you're going to want to go to this little volume thing over here. And right now it's set to zero, which is like a preset. You want to drag it to like 3.4-ish or 4, whatever, whichever one sounds better to you. This is going to be how like loud the ramp effect will like stand out. And 
you're, you don't want it too high because it's just going to sound ridiculous and scratchy. And then, like, zero is just, like, it's just going to sound plain. You won't really tell the difference. So bring it up to, like, 3.4. And then, after that, you're going to want to put it back together. So drag it in. And then once you get to the first clip, you're going to want to bring them together one frame. And then where is this? And bring this in. One second. You're going to bring the end of it in one frame also. And then at the end, this is going to be your... Wait, let me start some again. Whoop, whoop. Make sure to unsolo that. And then start over. One second, that was a... Uh, let me go to jab. There you go. And there you have it. Start a ramp with, with Sony Vegas Pro.